Today we're hooking up with Cole on the set of Reno 911 as he prepares to do a car jump. So anyway, let me take a show here and uh, show you the uh, hero car. You can see here's our hero car here. Get a good shot of this thing. And then if you now if you think you're seeing double, Jim's gonna pan over there. And that's the one we crashed. It looks identical to me. As you can see, this is our hero car. This is the one that runs, everything's good, they'll save that. One likely it's a renter. I don't know who's who uh, who owns it, but I don't think they're gonna want it back. And then over there we got our crasher car. And that's the one we're gonna jump and slam and break in half. About, uh, about 15, 20 minutes we're gonna start to set up this jump ramp and get ready to jump this car. We're trying to let the wind settle down a little bit. We have a full closure of the road. That's a, that'll be at one o'clock, so then we'll get started after that. So Jim, what I'll do is I'll take you around, show you some other stuff here. We, uh, as you just seen, we came out of the special effects truck. We're here in front of the, the sound gear and stuff. We showed you the cars, the double cars, and things like that. And uh, we'll peek around and see what they're doing over here. I think they're uh, putting a fuel cell in the car right now, so when they jump, the car doesn't explode. Um, it's a, it's a solid canister. It's it's got sponge filled into it. Um, when the first crash happened, you seen it hit. and then the car wouldn't start, but it happened. It has a ball into it, a petcock ball, so it falls shut, so no fuel can come out of the, out of the safety tank. So that's what they're working on now, trying to get that going. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take two jacks and level up the car. Try to get it so it's uh, like a pendulum, just a setting level. And then it'll, naturally it'll be nose heavy because this is a Trans Am, and it's a lot heavier in the front. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and put sandbags back in the back of it to kind of they level it off. The more okay. sandbags you have, the more rear end will land first. So we're going to lay the sandbags in here. We'll go ahead and ratchet strap them down, uh, make sure it doesn't hit the fuel cell over here, and, um, and just balance it. Balance it so it flies pretty. You know, when I first started this, I was really 6'3". And then all the car jumps into turnovers, and I'm now, I'm now five foot, <laughs> anyway. Uh. Cole has done stunts in over 300 films, plus a lot of TV. Bingo! So. Now that the car's ready, it's time to set up the ramp. Cole's driving the car up on the ramp to make sure that everything's lined up right. Once it's all lined up, now it's time to bolt it down so that it doesn't move when Cole hits it at speed. When Cole hits the ramp, all he's going to see is blue sky. Cole's wife and son came out to watch the gag. So who do we have here? This is Cameron. This is our ball player. He's not going to be a stuntman. He's going to grow up and be a ball player. Or at least something uh, other than hitting the ground. Like us, huh, Rick? He's going to be smart. Yeah, that's it. Instead of whacking. All right. Maybe be a linebacker. How about that, Jim? Stick to baseball. <laughs> Are you going to be a stuntman or baseball player? Ah, uh, baseball player.
another day in the hood, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, what? Wow. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> he said 50. <laughs> Cole said 50. Well, whatever. Uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> you know, at 120 feet, I must we'll have 40 it. feet in the air. <laughs> what, did Excellent. you have it? Yeah, you want to see so, it? That's so, okay. Not bad at all. You know. Cool, how far? 120 that was 120 feet. easy. 120 feet. You know, and about 40 up in the air. Yeah, it was pretty high. It was like I had a long time to watch that ground coming yeah. up, <laughs> knowing it was going to be. I thought uh, it was going to go over. Uh, uh, you know, it's like ouch, <laughs> ouch, ouch. <laughs> I did say it's going to hurt. Didn't I? Yeah, I think I did. You know, Jim, when you bend the front end up like this, it's a lot easier to change the oil onto them, you know? So, uh, so I guess maybe we won't be driving this one again. Not for a while, anyway. Jeez. <laughs> well, there's another one. Yeah, I actually in mid-air, actually in mid-air, you know, when I was starting to float, you know, it did, it had kicked the rear end up so high and I was coming in nose first. I had, I went ahead and reached over for the grab strap because I thought we'd stiff it, you know, and a lot of times you'll bang them and they'll nose up, nose up, and then drop down, but you're always taking a chance because it's a downhill landing of nosing and come on over top. If that would have happened, I had already had my hand in the grab strap here, so I'd have pulled myself across the seat and then left the, the roof crushed down and would have been okay. That's what the grab strap is. The grab strap is, so in case something happens, I come down this hill or I, uh, you know, nose it up, then I just reach over and grab the grab strap, pull myself down, lay across the seat, you know. Um, a lot of times that's why you take your back hurts so bad because you're not really seat belted in. You know, I don't have a, a roll cage and, and um, you know, hanging harness. So, you know, it, you just take it pretty hard on your back. Usually stunt guys go through hips and backs and, you know, and, um, and even grabbing the grab strap, pulling yourself over, you're actually leaning all the way across the seat and takes pretty good, uh, pretty good jolt on your back because your back's not meant to go that way because your hips are locked in. So, but your head's okay. Everything else can heal. What day is it, Cole? I didn't take a nap. I swear to God, I didn't take a nap. <laughs> 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 Just, uh, what, what is it? I, I think I have the day off tomorrow. It's called jacuzzi. Jacuzzi, and then maybe I'll take a jacuzzi. I'm Cole McKay. I'll see you at the movies. Don't let me drive your car.